we are in the scope application, when we were on Amazon and we were looking at the keyword apple slicer, if you remember, we used the Chrome application to identify all of the products and we began to watch those products. So let's go into scope and see what it looks like for the products that we're watching. So here we are inside a scope and we have the 10 products that I've identified as wanting to watch. We're going to go into the same apple slicer that we were using to build our backend keywords and take a look at the data inside of scope. Now within scope, we have a lot of the same data that we had. We have our price fee calculator. We have our current summary. We also have the price history with data price intervals over time, the sales rank history, the review count, and the review history. We can toggle between a month view or a week view. In addition to that, we have the ability to see all of the keywords that we saw within the Chrome application and to download them as well. I can sort these keywords by score or by keyword position or estimates. A scope user would want to use this functionality to start watching keywords at the keyword level. Watching a keyword at the keyword level is going to tell scope that you want to know how that keyword is ranking on a more regular basis. Scope is constantly watching thousands and thousands of keywords on Amazon, but not every keyword is being watched. Here's an example of the fruit slicer that has not been updated in 15 days or the fruit core that has not been updated in a month. If you would like information on those products to be updated on a more regular basis, then click the tracking key and we will start updating them on a regular basis. In addition, we are also tracking the keyword position over time. And so you can click on the chart at any point in time to expand the keyword and identify where the keyword position for this product currently ranks. This is showing you how to use keyword tracking within scope. If you go back to your watch list, you'll now see the keywords that we're watching are all identified on our watch list.